And the servant took ten camels, of the camels of his master, and departed, having all goodly things of his masters in his hand. And he arose, and went to Aram Naharaim, unto the city of Nahar. And he made the camels to kneel down without the city by the well of water at the time of evening, the time that women go out to draw water. And he said, O Lord, the God of my master Abraham, send me, I pray thee, good speed this day, and show kindness unto my master Abraham. Behold, I stand by the fountain of water, and the daughters of the men of the city come out to draw water. So let it come to pass, that the damsel to whom I shall say, Let down thy pitcher, I pray thee, that I may drink. And she shall say, Drink, and I will give thy camels drink also. Let the same be she that thou hast appointed for thy servant, even for Isaac. And thereby shall I know that thou hast shown kindness unto my master. And it came to pass, before he had done speaking, that, behold, Rebekah came out, who was born to Bethuel the son of Milcah, the wife of Nahor, Abraham's brother, with her pitcher upon her shoulder. And the damsel was very fair to look upon, a virgin, either had any man known her. And she went down to the fountain, and filled her pitcher, and came up. And the servant ran to meet her, and said, Give me to drink, I pray thee, a little water of thy pitcher. And she said, Drink, my lord. And she hastened, and let down her pitcher upon her hand, and gave him drink. And when she had done giving him drink, she said, I will draw for thy camels also, until they have done drinking. And she hastened, and emptied her pitcher into the trough, and ran again unto the well to draw, and drew for all his camels. And the man looked steadfastly on her, holding his peace, to know whether the Lord had made his journey prosperous or not. And it came to pass, as the camels had done drinking, that the man took a golden ring of half a shekel weight, and two bracelets for her hands of ten shekels weight of gold, and said, Whose daughter art thou? Tell me, I pray thee, is there room in thy father's house for us to lodge in? And she said unto him, I am the daughter of Bethuel the son of Milcah, whom she bore unto Nahar. She said moreover unto him, We have both straw and provender enough, and room to lodge in. And the man bowed his head, and prostrated himself before the Lord. And he said, Blessed be the Lord, the God of my master Abraham, who hath not forsaken his mercy and his truth toward my master. As for me, the Lord hath led me in the way to the house of my master's brethren. And the damsel ran, and told her mother's house according to these words. And Rebekah had a brother, and his name was Laban. And Laban ran out unto the man, unto the fountain. And it came to pass, when he saw the ring, and the bracelets upon his sister's hands, and when he heard the words of Rebekah his sister, saying, Thus spoke the man unto me, that he came unto the man. And behold, he stood by the camels at the fountain. And he said, Come in, thou blessed of the Lord, wherefore standest thou without? For I have cleared the house, and made room for the camels. And the man came into the house, and he ungirded the camels. And he gave straw and provender for the camels, and water to wash his feet and the feet of the men that were with him. And there was set food before him to eat, but he said, I will not eat until I have told mine errand. And he said, Speak on. And he said, I am Abraham's servant. And the Lord hath blessed my master greatly, and he has become great, and he hath given him flocks and herds, and silver and gold, and men servants and maid servants, and camels and asses. And Sarah my master's wife bore a son to my master when she was old, and unto him hath he given all that he hath. And my master made me swear, saying, Thou shalt not take a wife for my son of the daughters of the Canaanites, in whose land I dwell. But thou shalt go unto my father's house, and to my kindred, and take a wife for my son. And I said unto my master, Peradventure the woman will not follow me. And he said unto me, The Lord before whom I walk will send his angel with thee, and prosper thy way. And thou shalt take a wife for my son of my kindred, and of my father's house. Then shalt thou be clear from my oath, when thou comest to my kindred, 
And if they give her not to thee, thou shalt be clear from my oath. And I came this day unto the fountain, and said, O Lord, the God of my master Abraham, if now thou do prosper my way which I go. Behold, I stand by the fountain of water, and let it come to pass, that the maiden that cometh forth to draw, to whom I shall say, Give me, I pray thee, a little water from thy pitcher to drink. And she shall say to me, Both drink thou, and I will also draw for thy camels. Let the same be the woman whom the Lord hath appointed for my master's son. And before I had done speaking to my heart, behold, Rebekah came forth with her pitcher on her shoulder, and she went down unto the fountain, and drew. And I said unto her, Let me drink, I pray thee. And she made haste, and let down her pitcher from her shoulder, and said, Drink, and I will give thy camels drink also. So I drank, and she made the camels drink also. And I asked her, and said, Whose daughter art thou? And she said, The daughter of Bethuel, Nahar's son, whom Milcah bore unto him. And I put the ring upon her nose, and the bracelets upon her hands. And I bowed my head, and prostrated myself before the Lord, and blessed the Lord, the God of my master Abraham, who had led me in the right way to take my master's brother's daughter for his son. And now if you will deal kindly and truly with my master, tell me, and if not, tell me, that I may turn to the right hand or to the left. Then Laban and Bethuel answered and said, The thing proceedeth from the Lord. We cannot speak unto thee bad or good. Behold, Rebekah is before thee, take her, and go, and let her be thy master's son's wife, as the Lord hath spoken. And it came to pass that when Abraham's servant heard their words, he bowed himself down to the earth unto the Lord. And the servant brought forth jewels of silver, and jewels of gold, and raiment, and gave them to Rebekah. He gave also to her brother and to her mother precious things. And they did eat and drink, he and the men that were with him, and tarried all night. And they rose up in the morning, and he said, Send me away unto my master. And her brother and her mother said, Let the damsel abide with us a few days, at the least ten, after that she shall go. And he said unto them, Delay me not, seeing the Lord hath prospered my way. Send me away that I may go to my master. And they said, We will call the damsel, and inquire at her mouth. And they called Rebekah, and said unto her, Wilt thou go with this man? And she said, I will go. And they sent away Rebekah their sister, and her nurse, and Abraham's servant, and his men. And they blessed Rebekah, and said unto her, Our sister, be thou the mother of thousands of ten thousands, and let thy seed possess the gate of those that hate them. And Rebekah arose, and her damsels, and they rode upon the camels, and followed the man. And the servant took Rebekah, and went his way. And Isaac came from the way of Beer Lahiroi, for he dwelt in the land of the south. And Isaac went out to meditate in the field at the eventide, and he lifted up his eyes, and saw, and behold, there were camels coming. And Rebekah lifted up her eyes, and when she saw Isaac, she alighted from the camel. And she said unto the servant, What man is this that walketh in the field to meet us? And the servant said, It is my master. And she took her veil, and covered herself. And the servant told Isaac all the things that he had done. And Isaac brought her into his mother Sarah's tent, and took Rebekah, and she became his wife, and he loved her. And Isaac was comforted for his mother. And Abraham took another wife, and her name was Keturah. And she bore him Zimran, and Jokshan, and Medan, and Midian, and Ishbak, and Shua. And Jokshan begot Sheba, and Dedan. And the sons of Dedan were Ashurim, and Latushim, and Lamim. And the sons of Midian Ephah, and Ephor, and Hanak, and Abida, and Elda. All these were the children of Keturah. And Abraham gave all that he had unto Isaac, 